Good, excellent. So for women that are listening and kind of want to recap here, first thing, make sure your diet is right. Keeping the process, refined sugar, grains, flours out makes a huge difference. Omega-6 seed oils in general should be reduced as well. Hydration, make sure hydration is good. Good, clean, filtered water, um, you know, good mineral water, especially if you have more health issues, more minerals in there is going to be better. Um, next thing out of the gate, you know, be, you know, urinate after intercourse, those kind of foundational things. If you have chronic gut issues, definitely get your gut looked at. If you're on hormone, if you're on um, birth control pills, definitely get your hormones looked at and, and figure out why you're on them. Most women aren't even on hormone birth control pills for birth prevention. They're on it for off-label issues like acne or headaches or lots of PMS. And so most women could totally get off it because they're not even using birth control pills for the original intention. They're for off-label use. And so that would require looking deeper at the hormones. Uh, next, you can get tested. You can do either a, um, a monostat test to look for yeast. You can get those at the drugstore. You can do one of the strip tests to look for leukocyte esterase or I think it's nitrites in the urine for more of the UTI issues. And of course, if you have a lot more of the odor-like uh, issues, you can get a, a vaginal swab from your OB or your primary to rule out any of the, the BV issues as well. Again, similar solutions. You know, some may be more internal in regards to what we recommend. Some may be more uh, internal, like with the I meaning you swallowing pills. Some may be internally, intravaginally. And of course, the more chronic the issue is, the more we have to really support the vaginal microbiome uh, biome with the right beneficial bacteria getting in there internally as well. And then of course, just keeping up with a lot of the menstruation because that can really affect a lot of the um, the bacterial uh, issues and yeast issues in the vaginal canal because it's going to shift that pH from very acidic to more neutral to alkaline at that time of the month when you menstruate. So hopefully that's a good kind of crash course out of the gates and kind of you guys understand kind of our spitball kind of philosophy and how we look at the whole history and really connect the dots. And, and we have our little toolbox of all these things, but we just got to make sure it's catered to the history. And alcohol too. I think we briefly mentioned it, but alcohol has got to go. It's just, it's not going to help you. It's going to promote all sorts of issues. It's going to aggravate the immune system. It's going to affect your IgA levels. It may promote more dysbiosis. It may promote more yeast problems. And so I've heard many stories where a woman's like, oh yeah, we went to Napa Valley and we drank wine and ate chocolate and salami and cheese all weekend. And now I had a flare up. It's like, well, yeah, duh. I mean, that's in incredibly damaging everything that you've done. You, you, you binged on wine all weekend. So I think wine kind of gets like this. People think that they're not drinking alcohol. Somehow they think they're, they're getting off the hook. Oh, it's just wine. Like it's so socially cool. It's like coffee. It's like coffee and wine. Like wine is so accepted into the culture, but it can be a big problem. And I tell you, some of those California women, the ones in San Francisco, like it's part of the culture here. I had one woman argue with me that she didn't want to get off alcohol. I said, well, what if it's going to help your gut? She's like, well, maybe I'll consider it. So uh, sometimes as practitioners, we're having to bargain with people and try to make trades and make healthy swaps. We'll swap it for this and try this. And what if you do a binder afterwards? So sometimes you got to work with people. They're not just in a vacuum. We got to work with them and help uh, educate them so that they're more dedicated to the lifestyle changes. But I, I just want to mention alcohol because I think 